Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the first preview for the Women's T20 World Cup. I hope all of you are super excited for this tournament. Hit the like button before we start this preview and video. And before I start with the teams and all of that, just have a look at this amazing T20 World Cup leaderboard. And you have some amazing prizes here, the iPhone 14, an iFi laptop. A redmi phone and prices up till the 50th rank and do you feel like it's gonna be too difficult for you to crack the competition i don't think so because if you look at the spots here it's only 4500 spots it's not even 4500 players it's only that many spots so you can make up to 30 teams in this contest and apart from that what's the best part few people will miss a few games so your chances will only get brighter and brighter app link is in the description Ensure you download it right now and now let's try to make the best possible base team for this first game of the tournament and through this video apart from the fantasy part I think you have to focus on the exchange 22 part as this app is going to be really important as many of these games like I'm expecting this first game to be one sided towards South Africa which means that some exchange 22 picks will be vital for you to make profit as it's not going to work out in fantasy every game as I know that there will be some unexpected twists and turns but when you're picking just one player it makes life much much easier anyway let's try to make the team first so here in the keeping section I think Sanjeevni is the best choice and fills out one of the four Sri Lankan slots in the batting section Laura Boulevard and Sunil Luce are the choices that I'm looking at. Sunil Luce can also bowl some leg spin for you and she'll be a handy choice against Sri Lanka. Now who are your choices that you can consider from the Sri Lankan batting? Madhvi has been in decent form. You can try a Vishmi Gunaratne is coming from the under 19 T20 World Cup and she is a handy choice. As far as South Africa is concerned, Tasman Brits is someone to watch out for. She'll open the batting and she can play a good role too but because i am trying to make this team from a small league mini gl perspective i'm going to focus more on the all-rounders and bowlers so let's get to it in the all-rounders as far as south africa is concerned marizan cap will be your key key choice she was rested for the last two games and that's why Chloe Trion and Sune lose bowled a bit but now that she's back and is going to be the fifth and rather the main bowler but yeah going to complete the five I'm not too sure how much the others will bowl. Naren de Klerk will be an important choice. I'm surprised she's low on pick, but she bowls in the power play and in the death, she'll be very important. Now, Chamari Atapattu is a slight conundrum for you, as Cap is surely a negative matchup for her, but this, this match is going to be played at Cape Town. Now, Cape Town is known for lots of sixes and Cape Town is also known for good batting conditions. So, in that situation, I don't think I'm ready to leave her out yet. Because while the opposition might not match her, the conditions do. And she can also bowl a bit. She's fielding in hot spots. So, it's difficult for you to leave such a player out, especially in the first game of a tournament. I'm happy to have a look. Kavisha Dilari will be another good choice. She can bowl some good spin and left hand batter super classy. So she's one that I'm going to be trying out. And then as far as the bowling section is concerned, I'll get away with the Sri Lankan pick first. That's going to be Inoka Ranavira. She's a very, very impressive left arm spinner. She bowls stump to stump and a lot of LBWs are going to come into play. So that rounds up my Sri Lankan picks for this game, four picks that I'm going with. As far as South Africa are concerned, Aya Bonga Khaka will be a key key choice. She is going to be one of the top bowlers of this tournament and her bounce is going to trouble many many batters. The other two picks for me, Shabnam Ismail, her workload was being managed in the last few games. But now that it's a T20 World Cup, I'm not expecting her to come any short and hopefully full quota bowling. And the last pick is Amlaba. To be honest, I'm slightly doubtful on this pick because as far as Atapar 2 is concerned, she does have positive, a positive matchup against this type of bowling type. And because the ground is smaller and she will be she will try to make best use of the conditions, it can go either way. But for now, I'm having her in the team as the seventh player. So this is what my seven look this is what my eleven looks like for now. Captain is going to be Marizan Cap, probably also going to be everyone's captain, so no surprises there. And vice captain, while well, Laura Woolvart will be a popular choice, I'm going for Kaka for now. I think the pace and bounce is not going to be easy to face on these tracks for Sri Lanka, especially. 
so i think she is a worthy choice now who are your grand league choices we'll just look at that too very very quickly so as far as the batting section is concerned like i mentioned vishmi gunaratne and tasman brits will be key choices in the all rounders clo trion will be a very very handy choice along with oshadi rana singhe and as far as the bowling is concerned from sri lanka you have some good choices but i think achini kulasaria with she does get some movement at points up front and that can be handy if she is playing so i think these are few choices that you can consider in your grand league rotations so yes that rounds up my team section for this game this is what the final team looks like for now now let's look at what we have on exchange 22 So let's look at the exchange 22 picks for this game. So first I look at the daily picks and then we look at the trading section and what you can get from there in series wise. So first up let's look at the daily picks. Now when you have the South African section here, obviously everyone's eyes are going to be on Marazan cap but at 50 at rupees 50 she it is not I won't say it's impossible for her to hit her cost but when you look at the point system here you'll get a clearer idea of how it's going to go so as far as bowling is concerned it's 20 points per wicket and runs are one run per like one point per run so if you're expecting her to take two plus wickets and hit 20 30 odd runs then she's a good profitable buy and i think that she is a good buy because you can expect from such a quality player two wickets and 20 runs at least so that is my first buy for this game marazan cap second buy is ayabonga khaka i've obviously been focusing quite a bit on her even through the fantasy part of it and i think two wickets should come from her too and as far as your other picks from here concern emlaba does not seem currently available here so obviously you don't have the choice to buy her for now as far as sri lanka concerned i think all of these picks are going to be risky for you to take no one that i can call a safe chamari atapattu maybe in a chase you can try her because then she'll get some decent amount of bowling hopefully up front and then some ba- and some batting towards the chase but uh, i'm not too inclined towards trying any other sri lankan picks otherwise and then when you look at the multi baggers i think this is a good game for you to try multi baggers because you have fewer choices so you can try marizan you can try bonga you can try masabata class if she plays and it'll be easier for you to round up throughout and pick that multi bagger now let's look at trading series wise and this i think will be the most important section at least for the first round of videos that i'm going to do so in this video i'll cover only the south african section and as we do previews for the other teams i'll try and cover for the other teams too so as far as south africa is concerned again now one key point for you to keep in mind as far as the rules are concerned is that each team is considered to play five minimum matches now there are only four league games what does that mean that also means that example south africa get knocked out in the league phase and marizan cap is priced at rupees 225 now 225 is the price for her for five games but if she does not play one game you will be and if she does not play the semi finals you will be refunded for that one game so that is how it's going to work so an approx of 40 or 45 will come back to you so don't worry about the fact that will these teams qualify for the semis will they qualify for the finals because even if they don't you will get one matches money back but what is the good part that whichever team qualifies and goes all the way to the final you will get a sixth free game from that specific team's players so that is one point that you can keep in mind while making these buys but yes i am not focusing on that part too much because i think that it should work out well so yes my first buy is marizan cap obviously 225 divided by 5 means approx 48 points per game am i expecting that from her surely yes i am so i am going with marizan cap as my first buy second buy from here is going to be ayabonga khaka again 140 divided by 5 is about 28 points so i can you expect at least 30 35 points obviously i'm taking the minimum side of these things it will obviously be little more or little, little less but yes i am expecting that from her again so i am buying one share of ayabonga khaka <coughs> and as far as your other picks are concerned 
so yes sorry for cutting the frame here but one key thing that i want to focus on is the groups of these teams so now that we are discussing the south african teams guys they are going to be playing against sri lanka they are going to be playing against bangladesh two teams that are weak against pace so i think these are the two games where khaka and cap and the likes will come into play while the likes of mlaba will come into play against the other two opposition so i just want to keep uh, that in the loop for you and now let's get back so yes mlaba like i was saying again for 115 becomes a worthy buy because at 115 you're expecting about 25 points per game to hit back at break even now i'm expecting at least one breakout performance from her where she takes two three wickets and if that happens and she takes even just one wicket per game that is your job done so again i am taking mlaba here now one key point for you to keep in mind is if you feel like a player is going to score double the amount of points than their price so example if laura wolvart is 165 and you think she is going to score 400 points then you should insure that player by the insurance because then even if she scores 500 points and you have bought her for 160 rupees you will get a profit of rupees 340 while if you don't insure then you will get only double of this so if you bought for 165 you will get 165 more as profit so you will get like 330 total so just keep that point in mind but obviously i am not to inclined to use insurance because it will mean like the player has to has have a really really breakout uh, season a breakout tournament which is quite difficult for to happen so that is the round up as far as the south african team is concerned as i do previews for the other matches i will also cover the other teams but for now that's about it ensure you hit the like button before you leave thank you so much for tuning in and both the app links are in the description do participate and do keep supporting us thank you so much